The first international conference on unidentified flying objects is getting underway in Mexico today, an affair that will go on for a full week. While the United States Air Force has closed its official investigation of UFOs, there's still plenty of interest in the phenomena, as Ron Miller reports. This is a UFO, an unidentified flying object. It defies scientific explanation, but that did not prevent it from eluding a pursuing jet plane, the aircraft's contrail marking the chase. This UFO is but one of the thousands which have been reported since the late 1940s by people around the world. The choice is we can either call all these people over these years, all of them crazy, or we must say there is a real phenomenon there that is worthy of investigation. Dr. Alan Hynek, astronomer and former UFO investigator for the Air Force. Reports of UFO sightings continue, so Hynek formed the Center for UFO Studies to provide a place where the reports can be received and studied by scientists. The center gets three or four UFO sighting reports every day through a toll-free telephone number supplied to police agencies across the country. Astronomer Alan Hendry begins the investigation of each report. It had red and green and white lights. Okay. But it didn't look like anything I know of. 90% of the unidentified flying objects reported can, in fact, be explained and identified, usually as stars, planets, or aircraft. But some objects defy explanation. And this is the drawing of one of them, reported by the Calusa, California Police Department. It was seen here at Bill and Linda Pecka's farm on the 9th of October last year. There was a power outage late in the evening, and Bill Pecka went outdoors to investigate. As I approached this corner, I glanced up and caught this big object in this area. What he saw was a UFO at about the spot where the helicopter is located. The object was 150 feet in diameter, 20 feet high, silver gray in color. It hovered over Pekka silently. And I saw these objects hanging down like cable-like fixtures hanging down below it and uh, as I watched it these tentacle like things went up and these lights came out of this saucer like thing and these big lights came on which was a shaft of lights two of them Pecker ran back into his home where he and his wife watched the UFO fly away panicked frightened they took their children to the home of a friend Gail Arant who also saw the object I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was just but you had no question that you saw it? No, no question whatsoever. It was there. I saw it. It doesn't matter to me if anyone believes me or not. I know what I saw. And, and Bill, too. I mean, it was, just, it was frightful. Whatever Bill Peck and several other Calusa residents insist they saw last October remains unidentified and unexplained, as do these UFOs, seen by people whose testimony would generally be believed in court. But how are we to understand these apparent supernatural manifestations? What we would tend to call the supernatural is only that part of the natural we don't understand yet. And now the a television set to Galileo would have perceived magic. And we must remember that we may be in that same fix here. This, this phenomenon may be so strange that our present knowledge cannot encompass it. Ron Miller, ABC News, Calusa, California. See anything floating around up there? Uh, well, that's tonight's news, and for Harry and me, good evening.